There are some 663,000 post offices in the world, forming the largest physical network on the planet. This makes a powerful network for fighting exclusion and empowering citizens everywhere. At the World Postal Strategy Conference, the word on the lips of ministers, regulators and postal operators was inclusion a common buzz in panel discussions and in corridor conversations. The capacity of the postal sector to foster inclusion in all its dimensions, social, economic and financial, has been underlined throughout our conference. This message is clear. If it is not us, then no one else can do it. I can tell you that. Today, posts offer financial products to more than one billion people. But there are still 2.7 billion people in the world who don't have access to basic financial services. Accessible and affordable money transfer. The UPU has been working with various partners, such as IFAD and the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation, to change this in Africa and Asia, among other places. In Burundi, where the diaspora sends home an estimated 48 million US dollars in remittances every year, the UPU and the International Organization for Migration have joined forces with the National Post in a groundbreaking initiative. The objective is to lower the cost of uh, transferring money home. Right now it's running at 10 to 15 percent through the money houses and we believe through a postal service uh, we can achieve something 5 percent or below and that would be enormous savings for the migrants. The pilot project, which the agencies hope to replicate elsewhere, could also improve access to financial services and help local producers export their goods more easily. It's an example of the Post's unique capabilities to stimulate development. In matière de part, in matière de bancarisation, même en matière de fiduciarisation des populations, ou plutôt les bénéficiaires des montants de transfert pourront améliorer leur niveau de vie, tout au moins payer les frais scolaires, se faire soigner, les besoins essentiels. At the conference, it was clear that governments were taking on board the Post's unique role in fostering inclusion. C'est notre travail aujourd'hui de le valoriser à nouveau auprès des gouvernements. Et je dirais, si on, on j'en juge par les débats qui ont eu lieu aujourd'hui et hier déjà. Nous avons le sens et la conscience que cette prise de conscience est maintenant réelle. Le, la Poste est un outil de puissance publique. Nous devons utiliser cet outil de puissance publique pour aujourd'hui résoudre certains des problèmes que nous avons. Within the UN family, the postal sector's capacity to drive inclusion is recognized as an important contribution to the UN's post-2015 development planning. Clear that inclusion is going to be a big part of this new agenda financial inclusion, social and economic inclusion, and I believe that um, the UPU will be in a good place uh, as you think through being fit for purpose for this. How will you engage with the UN system that we become the facilitators of ensuring that this new agenda is an integral part of what countries' visions and plans will integrate? At the conference, the Postal Service's ability to foster inclusion and sustainable economic development featured as key issues in shaping the postal sector's next global roadmap to be adopted in 2016.